SharePoint Smart Slider will let you create impressive, eye-catching, lively images on your existing SharePoint on-premise or Office 365 site. This slider lets you replace the default SharePoint slideshow work part with a much more sophisticated presentation. The slider can be enabled or disabled from anonymous users. You can adjust the size of the slider by using the Clean Web Part properties. The slider comes loaded with a lot of designs. We will look at a lot of the, uh, some of them shortly. You can even customize the slider with your own CSS styles and JavaScript. Now, let me show you how easy it is to configure the slider. There are two places you can download the slider. You can either get it from store.cotechinc.com or you can get it from Office 365. If you download it from Office 365, you're going to have it right here, a smart responsive slider. So you click on it to get to the administration page. When the administration page open, um, you actually see. So right now, we currently have a couple of sliders created already. Um, let me go ahead and add a new slide. To add a new slide, you can click on the bottom on the top right hand corner or you can use the menu on the left and say add slide and specify whether you want the slide to be visible or not if you want the slide to be disabled you just click the button or you uh, you, you allow it to be visible but for right now we're just going to let this particular slide visible you select the position do you want this to be the first slide the second third or if you have like several other slides you can specify like for example let's just say this one is going to be um the sixth slide all right let's specify the title for this particular slide i'm going to type visit Kotec sharepoint store okay and the url i'm just going to put our sharepoint store as the url so this is pretty much the url for the button that um when the users click on it it will direct them so for this one you can specify for this particular slide uh, you can specify whether um you want the url to open in the same window on or on a new tab so i'm going to let this one open on a new tab and the text for the button put the visit store now and let me grab a brief description for this particular slide and just paste that right there and let me upload an image for this I mean I think I have a couple of slides in my machine and finally click create slide so as you can see the slide has been created and um, the page is pretty much uh, gonna refresh so now let me show you how you can actually add this particular slide um, onto your onto your site so to add the slide to your page or whatever sub site or um, or SharePoint page that you have just click the uh, gear icon edit page and you add this particular slide show word part to your page just like any other sharepoint word part or app part so let me go ahead and insert the app part to the page S and it's actually called smart responsive slider right there click add All right, so I'm going to give him a little bit more space and say I want this to be let me just put 500 for now. But you can always adjust the height uh, uh, if uh, you can always adjust the height as you as you want. So as you can see um, the slideshow loads uh, just fine all our images are coming in so let's look at one more all 
and there you have it so going back to the administration page um, so you can always preview if you don't want to go to the side you can always preview the slide the uh, slideshow live from the administration page right there so you can see you can actually see the whole slide the same thing um, preview it before you actually launch it live for all the users in your organization to see you uh, you can download the PDF um, uh, manual to on how to actually configure the slider by just clicking on the download on the PDF guide and to configure everything you go to the settings page right so the, the, at the settings page you specify the slider um, uh, interval you specify the color theme for your slider if you want this particular um, slider to start automatically when a user go to the page you can specify right here you can enable uh, or disable that if you want to uh, show the title you can uh, enable or disable that from right here as well if you want to show description the caption as well as the animation all right so let me change a couple let me modify the color theme i'm going to use this particular color theme and um and i'm going to change the design as well so let's use i'm going to show you a couple of design we have several different de uh, several other designs let me just uh, show you a couple of uh, designs so for this one i'm going to use the left animated the left animated slider design and if i refresh my page and now you see it you have now a different design and later on i'll show you how to actually customize the uh, color or you can actually customize this using your own css um your own css style as well as your own javascript all right uh let's look at another future actually let's look at the uh, another design so and again as i said it comes with multiple transition and uh, transition effects uh let's change the effects instead of image fit let's change the effect to flipping x and um yeah let's just change the effect to flipping x and apply our changes and you so that you can see how they actually look so if i refresh the page and there you have it the slider coming in and flipping in let's look at one more there uh, you have it all right we have as i said we have a ton of designs let's look at the um uh, news highlight design all right so let me go ahead and uh, refresh the page and the news highlight you have a menu on the um you have a menu on the right hand side for navigating the slides right there and as you can see the color theme that we that we created so you see the color text the text for the um for the button uh actually correspond with the text that we specify right here so if, let's say right now you can see it's actually um, a blue let's change that to red just se select red and say choose update your, your changes and if i go on if i refresh the page right now the uh, text for the button is going to change to red as you can see for yourself and also the title changed to red as well all right and as i said we have a lot more designs um let me just show one um uh, this uh, the 3d um image gal gallery let's see how that actually look and let me go ahead and refresh the page and as you can see the border is actually corresponding to the color of the text that you specify so your color theme see the red border that's a uh, color theme so if i hover over this 
it stops and instead of becoming gray instead of being gray you see the actual color i'm gonna hover over this other one you see that, that's the effect so and one last design i'm not going to show you all the design you're more than welcome to um visit cotex store and see how all the design come come together all right all right so refresh the page and this is another design that comes with thumbnails at the bottom you can hover to see the thumbnails by yourself so now the next thing i would like to show you is actually how you can customize um this particular slider using your own css all right so let's go ahead and um i'm going to change the title for this i'm going to change the color for the title to be um, red and the color of this to be red so to customize this you can literally use you can um, uh, use css to be able to customize that your own css all right so i'm gonna um just uh, use my I'm a developer dashboard and select so this is the class is actually called caption and say H, this is pretty much for power users right um, h1 so I'm gonna say the color will be found Two, three, four, five, four. All right. So the title, the, the title of that particular color is now red. And so right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I just want to change the title, but you can do a lot. You can make a lot more change. Actually, let's do one more thing also. Uh, let me see. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna open the CSS uh, editor. So I'm gonna open Notepad. All right. So if I so our CSS was H one. Hold on, that was H one, and we set the color. So we set the color to be red, right? And. Let me just put the important tag. And one other thing, I want to change the background color for the caption area. So I'm going to just say, I'm just going to select the whole caption. And say background. Uh, let's make it. Um, um zero four six five and as you can see the background color is now uh the it's now blue all right so let me copy that particular css code gonna copy that and bring it into my file right there so I'm gonna save this file so I'm gonna save it to my computer and just upload that look for a temp temporal folder to save that
okay smart slider demo.css so what i'm going to do now is i'll go into our site asset and i'll upload this particular file our css file i think i saved that in the temp folder okay all right we have our file right there so if i open that and just grab this particular link the link to the file so what i'm going to do is go into our slider administration page and where you see add so right here you can add css as well as javascript so if you want yeah if you have your own custom javascript that you want to use to modify the uh to modify smart slider you just paste it right there custom css you paste it right there so let me go ahead and paste our um, custom css file that we just created and say update script now if i refresh the page you will see that the, the uh, title changes to this and the background changes to this and this is because of the new css script that i just added and this apply uh, this apply to other slides as well so it's to, sorry to other templates so if i select a different template let's select this other template right here let's select a template that we haven't seen before so let's select um yeah we'll, let's select any of this other one it doesn't matter let's select this one all right so even if i refresh i select the template my css is still going to kick in as you can see the background now is still blue the color is red and all that so my css is still kicking in all right so that's just a quick demo on how to actually apply your own style sheet to apply that you go to the settings click at um, add script file enter the script file if you have javascript you enter it right there and you can use that to customize it so um we have a a quick help link that actually have a video presentation on how you uh, can actually um uh, customize your slider all right you have some brief information about it all the features for this particular uh, slider uh and if you we do actually appreciate feedback if you have any feedback you can always click there to contact uh, to leave us a feedback if you're very satisfied or you're very dissatisfied please always let us know all right if you have any issues with the slider you can always contact support we generally respond within 30 minutes you call or you have any issue send us an email within 30 minutes we will get back to you and make sure that we have it up and running for you as soon as possible all right uh thank you so much for watching our presentation today uh again as if you have any questions if you want to email us you can always send us an email at info at cotechinc.com again it's info at cotechinc.com thank you so much for watching